Hey, it's Keith. What is up, beautiful people? So, about a week ago, exactly a week ago today, that I left Truth Calkins after spending four days with him, learning all kinds of new techniques and just getting his loving, healing ability to teach and do all kinds of amazing things. And it was... 11 years ago, well, it was uh, 2006, at the end of 2006 when I found out who he was, and it was 11 years ago, summer 2008, when I met him at the Air One Tonic Bar, and... Uh, so, and then it was about, about 10 years ago that I started going to see him regular at the Air Juan Tonic Bar. And, um, changed my life. Learned a lot. Learned every, kind of everything in a way that I know about Chinese tonic herbs. Simultaneously, exactly at this time, I started an apprenticeship and a... Um, internship with an acupuncturist and so I was around a lot of the raw herbs and stuff like that that changed my life but really with truth and all the spiritual stuff and that's why truth for me is above all and this is Truth Calkins if you don't know who I'm talking about um, put up a video uh, that was the first one that we shot we shot four videos one or two of them um, are not going to be put up until his book comes out. And he's working on a book. He's keeping quite a, kind of quiet about it. A Jing encyclopedia of everything that he's learned. And that knowledge is expanding and getting more depth to it as time goes on. But so I made the pilgrimage just like I used to to Erwan to go and see him. A nine hour drive into Arizona got in the door and went under his loving care for four days, doing detox, taking all kinds of stuff, getting myself set up for his, kind of his version's a little bit different than mine of a liver gallbladder cleanse, but working with all his electronic gear, he's got all these like, I can't even, I just wanna, this is just a video of like me being amazed um, with, what you can do with the human body if you really push the edge and if you really want it and if you really want to dig and you find information from certain people and then you bring it into your world you use it and everything truth does and as far as that goes everything I do is verified through me it's not just a recycling of academia or information um, so, by the same token, you know, there was some stuff that happened with Truth where I'd been, v a famous video that I did of me talking about eating raw chicken with Truth was I'd been vegan for 30 years or something, and I tried that out just for the hell of it. And I knew, you know, after just messing around with that a little bit that I'm actually not a vegan. People say you're vegan for one of two reasons. There's actually, in my opinion, there's three reasons, because my, my reason is not one of the two. Most people say for health reasons or for ethical reasons. And mine is from the heart. It's just because <laughs> it's what feels right to me. And it doesn't, I, really, I don't have anything against anybody. I am not defined by my veganism. It's just, it's just, just me. So um, that being said, when I did try eating raw meat and doing a little bit of that kind of stuff, some Weston A. Price, nourishing tradition stuff, I realized that I really had to up my game because I did get a high and a buzz off of it. But, um, yeah, I was there for four days with Truth, doing some detoxes, taking, again, all of this stuff I really can't talk about because it's all very exclusive to the book. But what I did find out so I just like in like by the second day I was sitting there with all these electronic devices on me that are, you know, 
None of it was the Rife machine, but let's just say it's things like that. Um, and these things have been around, and they've been, I don't know, some of them suppressed maybe. I don't know if there's one. There's the one famous machine that he used, which uh, Pete Townsend of The Who used to get off of heroin in four days. Um, I've known about that one for a long time. Um, you can look that one up. I'm not going to talk about any names because obviously Truth hasn't invented any of this stuff. He's just brought it together in his program through his research and stuff like that. And so um, I was sitting there. I think I'd done a salt water flush. And, and mind you, I'm somebody that's very foundational. I didn't go in there. You know, I went on there on my program. I've been on a really good program for a while of just going, whoa. I'm, I've taken it up a little bit more. There's a, a video, one minute video I scanned of myself laying there with all these, you know, crystals and uh, machines, not, you know, electrodes and stuff on me, just doing things to cells and stuff like that. And I looked at the video and looked at my face. And I was just like, in two days, you look younger. Wow. So. I came back home Wednesday last, and then I went uh, climbing with my friends, and then, geez, I don't even know. I'm reinventing myself. It's so unlike me to just travel like I've been. I'm, I'm back in Sedona now. It's my birthday, turning 56 on Saturday, and um, I'm in this place here that's, uh, well, I'm going to do another, another video in a minute about how wonderful the universe is, but... I just want to say I'm excited about life. At 56, with my Ashtanga yoga practice, I am now a yogi. I am not just somebody that goes to a, a yoga class two times a week. With Vipassana, um, really providing a clean fuel, a clean soil for me to propel myself. There's nothing big about Vipassana except that it just gets your mind out of the way. And then you can do whatever you want with it. S.N. Goenka, the founder of the Vipassana practice, the Vipassana version that I practice, um, says it works with everything, and it does. And I'm still a wizard. I'm still a witch. I'm still, you know, I'm still a new ager. The Vipassana practice is an old part of Buddhism, basically. It doesn't have to be. Um, really excited about stuff. And so with all these practices, yeah, I am I'm in better shape than I was when I was 16. Super, super flexible. All the seated poses now in Ashtanga, I can get my forehead to the floor. That's really flexible. I've always been flexible, but not that flexible. Um, loving what's going on in life. Um, my emotions waking up. Definitely got into some some stuff over that Mercury retrograde. Mercury and Pisces retrograding. So that was pretty unique. I was a big crying kid when I was a teenager and got bullied a lot because of that. And... Um, cried that much and had some some new connections with some friends some new stuff awakening in me I was a hermit for I would say all my life being with partners and stuff but like always feeling alone I'm connected to a lot of people now I'm really connected to truth I have a really big friendship with truth and it's really awesome and I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going um, all of that being said, I think I have to talk about truth a little bit. Of, I first met him before he was really sort of became this celebrity-like person for a while. Um, and he's really low-key. He's not in it for the money, and he really goes out of his way to just be a healer and not be a greedy spokesperson. Longevity now, David Wolf, and all those people associated with that, their lies 
and their greed has been exposed and people that need to be of service to um, to the planet to other human beings to other spirits to finding human potential you know of of like realizing what you really can do with these bodies I mean I'm 56 again I definitely have taken a big turn I always thought I looked ageless but now I'm actually kind of youthing a little bit and I'm excited I'm excited for when Truth's book comes out there's there's a lot of stuff again I can't talk about it I just want to say wow I'm blown Never, never, ever give up. In fact, this lady's that I'm staying at here at this, it's not really an Airbnb. It's a whole other story that's coming in another video. Um, probably the next one. Uh, she was on her deathbed with pneumonia, and she came into this room, called friends, and said, and I just, I just met her. And you'll, if you want to tune into the video that comes after this, then you can... Um, see what's up but she came into this room uh, on her deathbed dying of incurable pneumonia and just basically tapped into the universe and figured out a breathing technique techniques that sort of like turning on a switch like human beings with breath with electricity and electricity is a big thing that I dig with truth so that electricity comes in all different forms, but she just figured out all these breathing patterns with sound and with intention, figured out this whole thing on her own. Well, not completely on her own, but tapped into entities and spirits and developed this whole system. And I'm excited about, you know, when you have, when you're pure of heart and when you're working from truth and being of service to people and just service to everything and realizing the bigger picture that we are actually spirits in these bodies and I'm not like while I'm like kind of practicing this Buddhist thing I am not really into this whole idea of like get the fuck out of here like samsara like I've had numerous psychics tell me that I just love being here, being human, being in this body, amongst other things. We'll talk about that later. But hey, it's Keith tapping out, saying like, pushing that edge of human potential and of being in this body and finding out all the things that you can do. And it's way, way, way beyond what the collective thinking is and it's way beyond being vegan and it's way beyond the things that just you don't know what you can do until you just believe in yourself all right it's Keith support me by supporting my music links in the drop down uh, to my band camp secondculture.bandcamp.com um, Truth email down there too, um, jingmastertruth at keymail.com. But look in the drop down there, make sure I got it right. Contact Truth for consultations. Contact me for consultations. I'm going to start doing them pretty soon too. Um, or I'm already doing them. I'm having a lot of, I used to have a lot of problems with doing consultations because my empathic nature got too involved with people. But I'm in Sedona for my birthday. Loving it this week. Been here for two or three days. Moving on to an Airbnb. All right, it's Keith. Peace out. Bye.